So there he is. I know you can't see him, but he is there. He's talking on the right. Barrow Katia has returned from the void. On PC, he's located on the Strata Relay, which is Earth. On Xbox One, same place, Strata Relay on Earth. Switch, Leonov Relay on Europa. PlayStation 4, unknown. I'm saying this because I'm sitting on one of the relays and he didn't turn up. He's supposedly going to turn up on the Leonov relay on Europa, but that's been destroyed. So we'll have to come back to that when he does eventually appear. We'll update it in the description below. So let's... Um, why is this not working? Yay, there it goes. Let's go see what Barrow has on PC before I have to hunt out where he's gone on PlayStation 4. He has brought... Nothing. In Oros, ah, there it goes. <laughs> a K Drive scroll with the Barrow Katia logo on it that is. Yes, it looks like it's slightly offset from there. You can fine adjust that. So you can move that so it is perfectly centered. Because you can see it's slightly off center. That's going to drive so many people insane. There is Scorch, 60% heat, 60% status chance for pistol. Same thing for melee, same thing for rifle, and Vermilion Storm, Claw, Ray Stance. Ooh. Hang on. No shotgun? Hmm. There is the Anpu Staff skin, still, by far, the best presentation of a skin in this game. There is the Twin Gracata Tosun skin. There is the Prisma Grinlock, which looks pretty nice. And really is a pretty good primary. If you haven't got this, this is definitely worth picking up. More so than the Prisma Dual Cleavers. Which, they are a really good fast attacking melee weapon. But yeah, the Obex is faster. And the Obex is just better. Out of the two, Grinlock. Definitely. There is the Prisma Daedalus chest plate. There is obviously the left chest uh, knee plate. Even though it's on the not on the knee. There is the right one that goes with it, there is the left shoulder plate, there is the right shoulder plate, there is... Oh, okay, that confused me for a second there. Sorry, I'm looking at something else. The Katia Kavat armor, which does look better than the Kubro one, and then there is the Corrupted Heavy Gunner, which confused me because the hundred Ducats it costs is right on the uh, head and it made it look like it was something else maybe something new this is obviously pre-built unlike the the bombard this comes pre-built so comes with five the bombard it's just one there is the Saima Luxem ornament with a spinny thing on the inside that doesn't spin separately to the outside so you can orientate that however you want and the Vez Luxem ornament, which has the top half spinning, that, I'm telling you, there's got to be a way that these things go together for them being all named Luxem that hasn't come to sight yet. There is the Katia Arrow skin, there is the Prisma Yamako Sandana, I love this thing for so long, there is the Mirage Immortal skin, uh, 3D mod drop chance booster. The only way to get this is from him or sometimes from a sortie and all it does is increase the chance of mods dropping, meaning that it doubles the chance of a mod drop, as you see in the description, which means in theory red drops, rare mods should drop a little bit better, but it's not going to double the chance of being able to get them, even if it is some of them are 0.01% and double that is not really worth 500 ducats. Oh, and the Katia Cornu Diadem, the Unicorn Horn, as well as Sands of an Aris Blueprint. Jumping over to console, still nothing on the PlayStation front just yet, just insane quantities of lag. There is the Prisma Latron chest plate. These will be, av be available on PlayStation eventually and also already on Switch. There is Primed Rav Ravage, I was gonna say Revenge, 110% crit chance for shotgun. There is Primed Target Cracker, 110% crit chance, uh, crit damage for pistol. There is Primed Charge Shell, which is 165% electrical damage for shotguns. 
primed continuity, 55% ability duration for Warframes, and honestly, primed continuity, if you don't have it, you really should pick it up because that thing is really important to have these days and insanely useful. There is the Domus Sandana, which is just a Lisette with really long tail fins. There is the Mantis Prisma skin, by far probably one of my favourite uh, skins has got to be the Mantis. Just all the Prisma skins for landing crafts look really good. Not to say the Cydonia skin for the Lisette doesn't also look good because it gives you lots of different colour options. Then there is the Katia Presence emote, which lets you just pull the pose of Barrow Katia. There is the Prisma Angstrom. Again, if you don't have this, you probably should. Just remember, you need to be Mastery Rank 8 to be able to actually equip it. I heard you can buy it beforehand and waste your ducats, but you can't actually use it until you hit Mastery Rank 8. There is the Prova Vandal. This thing should really be Mastery Rank 0 because it was just classed as Mastery Fodder, but now actually worthwhile if you haven't picked it up to just kind of get it out the way. Worth doing so, but Prisma Angstrom, way, way better. There is the Eos Prime Armor set. This is all of it, the chest, the shoulders, and because you can't see it, I will just click this, the spurs as well. Or the laggy spurs, because the relays on here yeah, are going nuts for some reason. There is the Sonicor Elixir skin. I still prefer the Banshee one to this for the Sonicor, whereas the Redeemer Elixir skin looks really nice. All of them do, apart from the Sonicor, because I just prefer a different one. There is the Mesa Immortal Skin, which does give some very weird kind of colour options, but honestly her Grack skin looks much better anyway. The Zephyr Immortal Skin uh, also looks really nice, but before anybody asks, the Mesa Grack skin is a Tenogen thing. This is technically the console side of this, so I think that is still available in the marketplace. Nexus Fur Pattern, four cool bros. Comes with the colours and uh, other such stuff, or it used to. I really have no idea these days, because... I think, no, that is just the fur pattern, it's not the colours as well. There is the Prisma Nebrus. This is the bat wings that were kind of a Halloween exclusive, but now are just everywhere and you can buy them when he brings them. There is the Pyra Sugatra Melee Dangly that has flames on it. There is the... Oh, Asra, Luxem ornament. I would love to put a chain on this and a handle and hit people with it. That would make a great melee weapon. There is the Puspa Luxem ornament that I still know this from something, but I could not tell you what it actually is. There is the Axie A2 relic. This is for the dual wielding Lex Primes and the only way to get those relics. The corrupted bombard. Heavy Bombard Spectre Blueprint, I was referring to with the PC one before. Not reusable blueprint, only makes one. If you want to build multiple, you have to build multiple blueprints. Again, considering it only builds one, that is an insane amount of ducats. Way too many for building one. Then, Sands of Anara's Blueprint, fixed item, and Fear Path Ephemera, same thing, on console, fixed item. Actually, jumping over to the Cronai Relay, which is on Saturn really quickly, for uh, the PlayStation with the remembering that I still hit record way too early because you can't run properly on these relays. Barrow has appeared on the Cronai relay for the PlayStation 4 on Saturn. And that was not your video, that was the amount of wow. I'm really glad I kind of came here to end that. Remembering he will be around for two days, so if he has brought something that you want, you have two days to be able to log in to actually pick it up. If you can't log in in those next two days, there's no need to worry. Everything he brings will cycle back through, assuming he doesn't try to go to a relay that's been exploded, like the Leonov relay for PlayStation again. So anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.